I just decided I got to do something else. In the meantime, I'm going to try to come up with good mechanics because everybody telling me, but you have no mechanics. I go, mechanics? Every time I thought the word mechanic, I kept thinking about a car. I didn't know they're pitching mechanics. Yeah. I didn't know anything about that. So I start, started to go to coaches and try to find out. My dad told me at the very beginning when he put me on the plane, keep your mouth shut and your eyes and ears open, you're gonna learn a lot. Uh, he was right. So I started to learn and then I go, well, what am I gonna do for a breaking pitch? I gotta get an off-speed pitch. And I remember a guy in high school, uh, Foster, but he was throwing this, what he called a fork ball. I go, what is that? And a fork ball. So I started messing with it. I said, I got to do something. In my first full year, 1975, we were in Charleston, South Carolina. I didn't use it. I was still trying to, these guys, we didn't have pitching coaches back then. We just depended on each other, and these guys are trying to teach me a slider. And I'm going, man, I can't throw a slider. You're supposed to go, you know, come flying and then turn a doorknob or something. I don't know. But everybody that tried to teach me a slider had a big zipper. And I said, I don't want it. I don't want a slider. So I just started messing around with this fork ball, just playing catch. And when I was playing catch, it's pitchers play catch with pitchers. Well, I'm playing catch, and these guys, damn it, can't you throw the ball straight? You know, hey, I, let, let me try another one here. And before you know it, this thing started working. Now, I was not one of the big, big shots in the organization, so I was always a reliever. So it gave me time to work on this stuff in the bullpen. Uh, my third year in pro ball, uh, Salem, Virginia, is when I had an opportunity to become a regular starting pitcher. Uh, somebody got hurt, and Brian, you want to? You think you could do it? I go, heck yeah! Give me the opportunity. I wanted to play ball. Just give me the opportunity. I remember throwing Dave Bergman a changeup in low, low A ball, where I just had my natural delivery, and all of a sudden I just slow everything down. <laughs> And he, you can see him look like, what the heck was that? And then he rope it for a double. So I was willing to learn solid mechanics. How do I aim? How do I do that? How do I do all this stuff? See, people teach me. Uh, we had a, a minor league pitching coach, Larry Sherry. He's the one who helped me with the extension. He's the one who told me about how to use your front shoulder. You guide with this. You don't guide with this. And it just totally just, it seemed like everything was backwards. But... I remember what my dad said, keep your mouth shut and listen, you're going to learn. And I started doing it and it started working. Then I started developing this fork ball in, that, in my third year in A ball in Salem. They couldn't hit it. I was promoted to double A, Shreveport, Louisiana. They got rid of Larry Sherry and in come a guy named Harry Dorsch as our minor league pitching coach. And Harry, all he did with me on that pitch is when he'd come in, they'd come, the pitcher coach would come in once a month. And he'd come in and go, Freddie, you throw that pitch 50% of the time. I go, oh, that's a lot, okay. Next time you come in, throw it 70% of the time. I'm like, Harry, that's a lot. Next time you come in, throw it 90% of the time. That pitch can get you the major leagues. And Harry didn't show me how to pitch. He goes, I don't know how to throw it. But the pitch you're throwing, if you just keep throwing it and get the confidence in that pitch, that can take you to the major leagues. And I had a pretty good year, finished with an ERA like 2-5, stayed there the whole year, went back to Virginia, I was working in a warehouse factory, cleaning, cleaning lines, when I got a call that you were put on the big league roster and you're going to Venezuela to play winter ball. And all of a sudden, everything, that's when everything started to change. And Cookie Rojas was our manager down in, uh, in Venezuela. And I remember Cookie, after a game, I just I threw nothing but fork balls. They could not hit the ball. They couldn't hit it. And Cookie uh, was, looked at me and goes, you know, Brian, you got a one-way ticket to the major leagues. Don't screw it up. I go, I'll try not to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to. Yeah. And then I went to AAA with the Pirates, got my ass kicked. But you're on the big league roster. I'm now. on the big league roster. I'm up in Columbus, Ohio, and they just they kicked my butt. I didn't realize what was going on. The, the, that little fork ball, that for, great fork ball I had, wasn't doing anything. Well, come to find out, in cold weather, and it's cold up in Columbus, Ohio, when we go up there in the, you know, early April, the ball wouldn't do anything. It just kind of just flutter. 
oh, I got knocked around. They had a psychologist come in to try to, <laughs> and a hypnotist come in and try to talk to me and get me, <laughs> get me going. It was demoralizing. So they sent me down to double A. And I remember this was, talking. This was in one outing? Oh, no, no, no. I was a reliever. They, were, they, were, they wanted me to be a short reliever. Okay. So you so, started... Uh... I just, I'd go out there and get my ass kicked. I'd go out there and get my ass kicked. And I was like, what the heck's going on here? It was working. Now it's not. Mm -hmm. So then, they, like I said, they thought they'd bring some help in. It didn't work. They sent me to double A. said, go down there and work on it. Mm -hmm. So I went down there, and I ended up doing well. But now you're back down in the, in the south, warm, heavy air. The ball is biting big time. Again, they're back to not hitting the ball. So then they sent me back up to triple A, and I ended up doing pretty good. It, it was okay, and it, it, at least it was a lot better than what it was. I did get to face Dad, Dave Edwards again, and I threw him a pitch, but well, one pitch in particular because we had the farm director up in, his, up in the stands, and he always told us a baseball cannot rise. Well, I threw one, two fastballs to this guy. They, they both rose. Even the center fielder came in and goes, man, did you see that ball rise? I go, you go tell that to Murray Cook. He says the ball can't rise. I went back out there, and from that day forward, I never, ever threw a ball that ever rose again. And I think it was just pure adrenaline getting up there just to show these guys that I'm okay and I can pitch. So I got up, back up to AAA, then I went down to Venezuela, had a kick-ass year down there. We ended up with Willie Horton. As Big our, Willie the from mold, Detroit. The mold digger. Wow. He ended up being our manager. Did you have a pitching coach down there? And the, Harry Dorsch was our pitching coach. So check this out. Now, I thought because I was down there because Cookie wanted me to pitch that I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the short reliever. I'm in. And then I got Harry Dorsch as a pitching coach. I know I'm in. Well, once Moldugger Moldugger took over, I didn't get to pitch. Because Harry was doing whatever he could to get me in, and the mold digger would find out what he's doing and said, he ain't getting in. Really? So I just sat down and I was on vacation. Oh, I knew all the beer vendors and you were Man, the I was, I was on vacation, just a paid vacation. In fact, people ask me if I have a World Series ring. Oh, yes, I do. Caribbean World Series. So then in, in spring training in 79, the Pirates moved out of Columbus, and they took their AAA team to Portland, Oregon. And I thought I was going to be on that team, but they wanted, you know, how management works. They'll tell you what you need to hear. We need you to get more innings, Fred. So we're going to send you to Buffalo, New York, which is double A. It's a demotion. Anybody that plays a game, it's a demotion, but okay, I'm going to get some innings in, so I'll do it. And I was a starting pitcher up there, and I did very well. I learned my lesson on the cold weather. This time what I did with the fork ball, keep it down below the knees. Release it low. So if it only breaks a little bit, the damage is going to be minimal. Instead of before, I'm trying to bring it up in the zone, getting a good two-foot break. So I go driving in the ballpark one time, get ready to start. Came in around about six, games at seven. Coach stops me and goes, hey, I got good news and bad news. What do you want first? I go, well, give me the good news. You've been traded to the Giants. Cool. What's the bad news? You're going back to Shreveport again. <laughs> so that was my third time I had to go back to Shreveport. But I went down there and had a very good year. Made, we made the playoffs gave me a good opportunity to show, show off to the Giants. When I got traded to the Giants, as soon as I found out, I just looked up and said, thank you, dear Lord. I just had this great feeling I was going to the major leagues. I was going to make the major leagues with the Giants. It was a dream of mine way back when, when I was 12 years old.